Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is you guys want to make sure make sure that your hair is about 80% dry, if not a little bit more. Um, the reason being is that uh, I'm just speaking from experience that when I used to try to blow dry my hair and my hair was like soaking wet, uh, first of all, it would take me like two hours, and second, my hair would be really, really frizzy afterwards. So what you want to do is just make sure your hair is either all dry and you can just wet the pieces as you go along or just make it make sure it's 80% dry. Now you guys can see that like some pieces of my hair are wet, some pieces aren't, but that's fine. That's what we want. So um, to begin before I start blow drying because you guys aren't going to be able to hear what I'm saying when um, I do start blow drying. So we're going to take... Um, like behind our ears just go down you guys don't want to take too big pieces uh, because then it's gonna take longer and uh, you may end up uh, missing a few spots so what we're gonna do is uh, I love this one you guys um, can obviously get like the one that's half of this size but I love this one because it's just faster I can put more hair into it and it doesn't and it evenly distributes the hair so um, it is a little bit harder to use so definitely get the one that's a little bit shorter so you can use smaller sections of hair and do the blow drying um, and then so before I like actually get into it I want to show you guys how to blow dry so get a piece of hair now I usually like when I had the other um, the other brush take a hair piece like this big maybe like an inch and a half wide now what you're gonna do is if what if you're so I'm starting on my left side if you I guess it depends if you're right-handed or left-handed but I have I hold the brush in my right hand so hold the brush in your dominant hand because you're gonna need a little bit of power to work through your ends and your hair you want to put the hair like so and basically then grab your um, hair dryer with the other hand that's free and all you're gonna do is position um, the hair dryer and what you're gonna do is you're gonna be pulling down but as you're pulling down you're also turning inwards like this do you get what I'm doing so um, once again you put it right underneath blow dry and as you're blow drying so with the blow dryer you're pulling down and you're twisting like so see and then you just keep going and then sometimes when I'm closer to drying the hair at the bottom I like twist it three or four times to get that like little flip at the end and then I slowly let it go does that make sense so let me quickly show you guys how it looks with um, when I actually am blow drying it see that it's nice and smooth and at the bottom it has kind of like a curve I don't know if you guys can see that now don't worry if your hair is a little bit frizzy that will go down just make sure that your hair is uh, not wet like I see a piece here that's bothering me so I'll just put it in the back it is still wet but yeah so that's essentially what you're doing now this doesn't come in the first try I've tried it a bunch of times and just practice makes perfect so it's really easy to do it on yourself just remember that when you're um, doing it you're pulling down and twisting and you're pulling down and twisting and you don't the key like the most important thing is just making sure that your hair is not wet um, it's just like 80% dry and then that's what's gonna help you mold your hair into how you want it to look So let's keep going um, I did move the camera down a little bit more so you guys can see what's going on now when you're done with the hair just keep it on the side you don't really need to do much um, with it but now I'm going to take another piece and do the same thing again. So let's show you. As 
you guys can tell, like, I'm taking my time and I'm making sure that my hair is completely dried um, when I'm doing it. You don't want to leave any type of moisture in the hair because as soon as like like it, as soon as it starts to dry, your hair is going to start to frizz up. So you want to make sure that it's completely dry. Um, and then at the end, I'm going to show you guys. Like, don't worry too much about flipping it out and stuff. At the end, I'll show you guys how you guys can flip it out. The main purpose of this is you want your hair to be nice and smooth and blow dried. And um, yeah, so let's keep going. I mean, I, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll just keep going with the rest of my hair. And... Um, yeah, let's let's do this. Oh, and also like if you're if you're going out and stuff, uh don't put your makeup on before you do your hair because uh like it gets really really hot and it is a lot of work, so you start to sweat. So that's why I don't have any makeup on. Just uh do your hair first, allow it to set a little bit and then um do your makeup after. So So now I'm taking another section that's like about just where my arch is for my eyebrows. Now you guys can definitely take lesser, like um, smaller chunks if you need to. Um, and I would suggest to start off with smaller chunks just because it is a lot easier to work with. So do you guys see how I'm like turning and turning and turning and turning and especially when I'm at the roots I turn maybe three or four times just to make sure I get all the baby hair and you'll feel the uh, the brush actually grabbing onto all your hair. Um, so yeah. Oh and another thing, so when you have your hair dryer, you obviously it's best to have this attachment and you don't want the attachment blowing upwards this way you want to have it pointed down so the air um, is going downwards so your hair is drying downwards instead of upwards it also it will prevent um, frizzing for real you guys oh this is like a serious workout you should have like a window open or a fan going on or something because I'm dripping in sweat curl uh, turn your hand away from your face all right Every time I'm done each section, I pull my hair forward uh, just to make sure, oh god, that's hot, uh, just to make sure that uh, I didn't miss any spots. Now, from what I'm seeing, I know <laughs> the back of my neck is sweating like crazy, so I see that I've missed this part here, um, so I'm going to do that again, but um, I'm not going to be too concerned about what's down here. Uh, just because your hair is going to be covering that. But I am going to do this section because that's really bothering me. Now I'm going to take pieces of right here, like I guess the crown of my head, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to section that away. So I'm going to go from there all the way back to the crown of my head and just section this part away because this part is the part that I want to put the most... Um, most effort into and does anyone here think that I should lighten my eyebrows not like dye them red but maybe lighten them one or two shades because these are my natural eyebrows like they aren't filled or anything and they're super intense and dark and I always get like people always talk shit to me on Instagram telling me how ugly my eyebrows are so I was thinking I should lighten them but I don't know let me know what you guys think because uh I'd like to hear your opinions. Honestly, blow drying is literally like having a fight with your own hair. Like it's a it's a tug of war fight. Like she, that's literally what you guys are doing. <sighs> Hot. Okay, so when it comes to the crown of our head, what I like to do is I like to take sections and I just I just like use my finger. Um, like sections like that and then I just tie the rest away is I like to start going backwards like this to get the little bump here okay 
And now that our like our hair is basically done, what you want to do is take like whatever oil or anything that you put in it. I'm going to use my OPV um, argan oil or not even, yeah, it's argan oil hair serum. So I'm going to take a pump and a half, spread it through my fingers, and just spread it through the ends of the hair. So it looks nice and um, nice and shiny and it repairs, you know, some of the hair. Here come, comes the main, the important part. Bye. And they are um, an inch and a half, so 30, they're 38 millimeters uh, wide or whatever. So and now basically what we're going to do is we're going to set the front of our hair. So you want to take a section that is as wide as your roller. And don't make it too thick, just, just thick enough. Have a clip, you guys can use bobby pins, I'm using these clips I got from Sally's and your roller ready um, and then we're also gonna warm up our hair again so let's warm it up while it's still warm take the curler bring it down and wrap your hair around it and now you want to do this while it's warm so it'll set in this position. You feel me? And then let's just clip our hair. I like these because bobby pins actually leave like a dent wherever you position them in your hair. So I like these because they're nice and sturdy. So now you should look something like this and you want to let this set in your hair. What I suggest to do is just um, do your makeup while your hair is setting, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, the longer you let it set, the more volume you'll have, the more hold your hair will have. So um, yeah, and now as you can see with my ends, like because it's so humid and my hair is naturally curly, my ends are starting to f um, frizz up a little bit, I don't know if you guys can tell, but what I'm going to do is take a hair straightener and possibly just, uh, just flare out the end just to flatten them out a little bit. But yeah, that's how I blow dry my hair. Um, I'm going to show you guys how it looks right after I'm done letting them set. And yeah, I'll see you in a little bit. I'm back. So it's been about 30 minutes. I ate some food. I didn't do my get ready with me video because uh, it's starting to rain. Uh, it's starting. It's starting to rain outside and uh, the light the lighting is like going in and out so it's it looks really weird. But let's start uh, removing our our rollers and start with the back because then um, it won't it won't get tangled, you know. So just pull them out. I just take one finger and like squeeze it out like so. And now you, you guys did you guys see that? Like whoa. Now, let's just shake it all about and then part it however you guys want to part it. So I went back and I actually um, parted it from the middle because I realized that I like it better from the middle, but you guys can part it however you like. <clears throat> and here's the finished look. Now obviously it would look much cuter if I had some makeup on. But, it's pretty damn cute with no makeup on, right? No. Okay guys, so I went in and put a little bit of concealer and some lipstick on for you guys cause, and mascara because I just was not feeling the hair without the makeup, you know? So, um, yeah, this is how it looks. Nice and fluffy and bouncy and I love how my bangs came out. You guys see that so yeah um if you guys like this tutorial let me know i know it was highly requested from instagram so i finally got away oh sorry if you hear that my my backyard door is open but um yeah i finally finally got around to doing it and i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys learned how 
I do it and a few tips and tricks. And I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.